Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianofTheRussian.com. We continue our conversation about formation of the present tense in Russian language, and today we will talk about the verbs ending with yad that don't follow the common rule. We will start from the verbs in which the ya follows a consonant. For example, гулять – to walk, повторять – to repeat, менять – to change. Normally, these verbs follow the common rule. Я гуляю – I walk. Ты гуляешь – you walk. Он, она, оно гуляет. Мы гуляем – вы гуляете – они гуляют. Я повторяю – ты повторяешь. Он, она, оно повторяет. Мы повторяем – вы повторяете – они повторяют. Я меняю, ты меняешь, он, она, оно меняет, мы меняем, вы меняете, они меняют. But there are some exceptions, and now I will examine all of them. The first and very important group of exceptions includes the verbs that consist of a prefix and нять, such as понять – to understand, занять – to occupy, нанять – to hire, принять – to accept, to admit, поднять – to raise, снять – to remove, to take off, обнять – to give a hug, отнять – to take away, to rob, and some other verbs. All of them are perfective, that's why their present forms express the future tense and not the present one. The conjugation of these verbs depends on the sound which precedes the part нять. If the nyat follows a vowel, we should remove the nyat, add yim, and the endings of the first conjugation. All forms are stressed on the ending. For example, понять – to understand. Я пойму – I will understand. Ты поймешь – you will understand. Он, она, оно поймет. Мы поймем – вы поймете – они поймут. The verb принять is an exception. It loses the и краткое and has variable stress. Я приму, ты примешь. Он, она, оно примет. Мы примем, вы примете, они примут. If the part нять follows a consonant, we should remove the нять, add ним and the endings of the first conjugation. Such verbs have variable stress. For example, обнять – to give a hug. Я обниму – I will give a hug. Ты обнимешь – you will give a hug. Он, она, оно обнимет – мы обнимем, вы обнимете – они обнимут. The verbs взять – to take and изъять – to withdraw – have similar irregularities. Я возьму, ты возьмешь, он, она, оно возьмет, мы возьмем, вы возьмете, они возьмут. Я изыму, ты изымешь, он, она, оно изымет, мы изымем, вы изымете, они изымут. The imperfective pair for the verb взять is брать. Compare, for example, я беру, I take, I'm taking. Я возьму. I will take. I will have taken. Ты берешь. You take. You are taking. Ты возьмешь. You will take. You will have taken. In Russian literature, you can also see such verbs as объять – to embrace, to fill, and разъять – to sever. In modern Russian, they have only past forms. Such perfective verbs as застрять – to become stuck and встрять – to meddle, to intervene, are conjugated like the verb стать, adding n. Я застряну, ты застрянешь, он, она, оно застрянет, мы застрянем, вы застрянете, они застрянут. The perfective verb распять – to crucify has the following forms. Я распну, ты распнешь, он, она, оно распнет, мы распнем, вы распнете, они распнут. The imperfective verb мять, to crumple, has the same features. 
Я мну, ты мнешь, он, она, оно мнет, мы мнем, вы мнете, они мнут. All other verbs ending with мять are conjugated in the same way. And now let's examine the verbs in which the я follows a vowel. Let's start from the verbs ending with оять. Стоять – to stand, and бояться – to be afraid. They refer to the second conjugation and are stressed on the endings in all forms. Я стою, ты стоишь, он, она, оно стоит, мы стоим, вы стоите, они стоят. Я боюсь, ты боишься, он, она, оно боится, мы боимся, вы боитесь, они боятся. Some verbs derived from the verb стоять are very used in Russian language. For example, состоять – to consist or to be a member of some group. Предстоять – to lie ahead. Противостоять – to counter. Обстоять – this verb is used in the meaning of to be in some specific situations. Настоять – to insist. They are conjugated in the same manner that the verb стоять. The first four from the above-mentioned verbs are imperfective. The verbs with other prefixes are perfective. If the я follows any other vowel different from о, the following rule is true. If the я is stressed, the verb follows the common rule. But if the я is unstressed, in the present tense, this я disappears. Let's examine some examples. The verb влиять to influence is stressed on the я. That's why it follows the common rule. Я влияю, ты влияешь, он, она, оно влияет, мы влияем, вы влияете, они влияют. In the following verbs, the я is unstressed. That's why such verbs lose the я in the present tense. Light – to bark. Я лаю, ты лаешь, он, она, оно лает, мы лаем, вы лаете, они лают. Чуить – to feel. Я чую, ты чуешь, он, она, оно чует, мы чуем, вы чуете, они чуют. Надеяться – to help. Я надеюсь, ты надеешься, он, она, оно надеется, мы надеемся, вы надеетесь, они надеются. The above-mentioned rule has only one exception. The verb смеяться to laugh. This verb loses the vowel я and has stressed endings. Я смеюсь, ты смеешься, он, она, оно смеется, мы смеемся, вы смеетесь. Они смеются. The verbs derived from смеяться are conjugated in the same way. Let's summarize. If the я follows a consonant, the verb follows the common rule. The exceptions are such verbs as мять, взять, изъять, встрять, застрять, and the verbs that consist of a prefix and нять. If the я follows the vowel O, such verb refers to the second conjugation and has stressed endings. If the ya follows any other vowel, the verb follows the common rule when the ya is stressed and loses the ya when the ya is unstressed. The only exception is the verb смеяться to love and the verbs derived from it. Well, now you know all about Russian verbs ending with yad. In the next lesson, we will start a conversation about a large group of Russian verbs, the verbs ending with it. So, stay with us. If you want to know more about Russian verbs, subscribe to my channel and visit my website. Thank you, have a nice day. See you at the next video.